Hey guys, and welcome to Game Night. This week, things are a little different. We are still under the stay at home order here in Ohio, so I'm at home, and Maggie and I are gonna do a game night for you. This is my gaming room, some of my games, and we're gonna be playing one of my favorites today, Commands and Colors Ancients. This is a war game that covers the battles between Rome and Carthage. In particular, we're going into the Second Punic War doing the Battle of Cannae, which features Hannibal. Maybe you've heard of him. Uh, pretty awesome general, pretty awesome game. So this is a tactical war game where you set up your armies on the field. They maneuver, attack one another, and the goal of this particular scenario is to destroy units. For every unit that you completely destroy, you get a victory point. If you completely destroy or capture a leader, you get a victory point. And if you get seven victory points, you are the winner. So how does the game play? So the commands and color system is built around these cards, which allow you to issue orders to units on the battlefield. Most cards are going to tell you a section of the battlefield. If you look at the section, you'll see there's a left flank, a center, and a right flank. So you can kind of see it there. This one says, issue orders to two units in the center of the battlefield. And an order usually consists of a move and then an attack. Both of those things are optional. So for example, this guy here has some javelins that he can throw. So he could stand there and just throw the javelins or he could move up and attack. Whenever you do an attack, you're gonna roll a number of dice depending on the unit that you're attacking with. You're trying to roll the symbol on the unit that you're attacking. So for example, these guys here, actually let's do these guys here. You notice they have a blue triangle symbol. So if you roll a blue triangle symbol, you hit that unit and do one point of damage to them. If you do a damage, you simply take a block off. It's basically the hit points of the unit. You can think of it that way. If they're all removed, then you gain a victory point. There usually isn't a way to heal in this game. There's only one card in the deck that can heal things. So mainly you're just trying to move weaker units back so they don't get destroyed. But it's also important to keep a line going on because another one of the results on the die is this retreat icon. And if you're all in your lonesome, you're much more likely to retreat if you get one of those. If, on the other hand, you have guys on both sides of you, in two adjacent squares, you get to ignore one of those retreat flags. Also, if you have a leader with you, you can ignore one of those retreat flags. The heavier units, such as the blue units and the red units, also hit units if they roll a sword. If a unit has a leader, it hits. Or if the unit is adjacent to a unit with a leader, it hits with uh, this leader symbol. And that's all the symbols on the die. So I'm not gonna go over the units in detail, but they work kind of how you think they would work. So cavalry units can move farther, and if they're able to destroy units or push them back, they can chase after them. Green units are your, light, are your lighter units, so they don't hit quite as hard, but a lot of them, most of them in fact, have ranged options, so they can throw javelin or sling their slings. Blue units are your medium infantry, so they move slow and roll four dice. The heavy units also move slow, but they roll five. They're the hardiest units in the game. The leaders, uh, not only do they help in morale, so they stop you from fleeing, they also grant you additional hits on the dice if you roll their symbol. When you're counting ranges, you don't count the hex that the unit's in. So this and this are two spaces away, one, two. These guys have a range of three, so they could be one further, but these javelin guys only have a range of two. These units have no ranged options. So that is the very basics of how you play the game. Every unit works a little differently. I'm not gonna go over them too much in detail. There's also different scenarios that have terrain and different units we're not playing with like elephants and things like that. But the basics of it all is you're trying to recreate these historic battles and trying to destroy the other opponent's units. So Maggie will be playing Carthage and I will be playing Rome in this particular battle. Who will come out on top? Let's find out. All right. Hey guys, welcome to game night. Commands of Colors Ancients. This is one of my favorite games of all time. 
and this is probably the only time I'll have a chance to play for game night. Because it is two players, unless you play the epic version. We don't get to play very many two player games on game night. So here we are! It's a war game. It covers uh, Carthage versus Rome. So the particular battle that we are fighting today is the Battle of Cannae, which is in the Second Punic War. And you got some big names, some heavy hitters. You've got Hasdrubal <laughs> over there with the heavy cavalry. My you've, only heavy cav. You've got Hannibal over there with some heavy troops. Woo! No elephants. Were all the elephants dead by this point? Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so sad. <laughs> and you have Marlball, who's someone I'm not quite so familiar with, over there with a the light cab. So the, Carth uh, the Carthaginians have a big superiority in cavalry, not only in quality of cavalry, but also in numbers of cavalry. Whereas the Rome, uh, the Romans have vast majority more infantry. So... And medium infantry. Let's look here. So this is Pallius, I believe is his name. <laughs> this guy is Atilius. And this guy is Varro. Now, Varro gets all the credit for losing this battle from Livy, who was best friends of the grandson of, I believe it's this guy. Oh. <laughs> so... <laughs> Maybe that's why. Hard to say. History goes around. Yeah. <laughs> Funny circles sometimes. So I've done the intro for this already, but the basic idea is uh, the Romans lose this battle and have worse commanders, so I only have four cards to work with in order to order my troops around. Whereas Hannibal is one of the greatest generals of all time. Yeah. And has seven, I think it is. Seven? Should I have seven cards? Six. I can take another card. Nope, six. Dang it! <laughs> and the Romans go first. Which is another disadvantage, because you want to see what your opponent's going to do. So, the first card I'm going to play is I'm going to play order four units in the center. Aren't you just going to scan those? Maybe not. We'll see. So, for my four center units, I am going to start moving in the middle here. And I'm going to move this guy here. And this guy up here. So, that's two. And then I'm going to go ahead and go three and four. Keeping my line straight, which is very important in this game. And that's it. I draw a card. Okay. Since all of my guys are still linked up, I'm going to do line command. Okay. Which basically means I can make everybody move because they're still all connected. Yep. So. The army cometh. Yeah. Does it matter if I go like up to the side or up to the side? Does it matter at all? As long as they only move one. Okay. You're fine. So historically, uh, Carthage wins this battle. Uh, this is actually one of the deadliest days in human history. Uh, because although the Romans have in some figures, twice as many infantry units as uh, Carthage does. Um, they get outplayed tactically. So the way the battle worked is these are the worst troops for Carthage, and these are the strong troops, whereas it's the opposite for the Romans. And Carthage, uh, the, the Roman line hit this, which was much like in this formation here, where it had like a bevel going out. But these guys started retreating backwards slowly, and these guys went in. And when they were here, this line came in like this, and they just crunched them in. Like, the, the Romans were so close together, they couldn't even draw their swords. And they just slaughtered them. So 60,000 or so Romans died this day. On a single day. Yeah, there's about 80,000 of them on the field to start with. At some point, you just get tired of stabbing. You think. But that's why you have 
like low lines of people. <laughs> so when when the front guys get tired, the back guys can take take the stabbing duties. All right, so I'm gonna play order for left. Oh, I need to draw a card. Yep. So I'm gonna play that one. And for the left, so the battlefield is divided into three sections. Um, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and go. There's one. Oh, when I do the um, two. the line thing, are they able to actually three. do a attack? Attack? Yes. Yes, they can. Oh. Should we do that? Yeah. If you, can, if, if you don't mind. Yep, that's fine. <laughs> Since I messed up. Uh, do those guys... Were those guys there? Yeah. Okay. Uh, was it? Oh, no, no. I'm confused. I got to look up the setup. Who's <laughs> here and here. And no, th those guys were back. Okay. Hang on. If you're sure. I mean, I don't mind. It was like this. Okay. So they're the ones that are in Ranger Slingers. Yeah. I've got these slingers here, these slingers here, and these slingers here. Yep, so slingers have a range of three hexes. So these guys on those guys. Okay. So that's just... Poor Pallius. Yeah, he got he, he took it tough last time, didn't he? Um, Pallius. Palus. So since they moved, they only roll one? Yep. And you got a white flag that then they can ignore because there's a general with them. And because they have two units adjacent. So they could ignore up to two flags. They only ignore one, and yeah, they will ignore. Okay, I will also attack Pallius okay. with those slingers. So that's a, that would hit if a leader in a unit and they're doing melee. Neither of those are true, so that misses. Okay, and these slingers will just attack. Can, can they get those guys? Yep. Okay, I'll go after those guys. Okay, the medium infantry. And the Hestari. No hit again. Okay. So now I will do what I said before. I will move four units on the left. So I will go one, two. One, two. One, two. And the cavalry can move three, this medium cavalry. One, two. We'll go ahead and push forward and try to attack those slingers. So um, I'm going to attack the slingers. Mm -hmm. They have no room to retreat. You can't go through your own units normally. I get to roll three dice. And I hit on swords. And so they can ignore that retreat because they have a unit on either side of them. But that is going to do two hits. So the slinger takes two hits. The number of blocks in a square is their hit points, basically. Uh, I did not destroy them. If I did, I could move forward and attack again with them. But I did not. Now I'm going to go ahead and throw some of my Pila. Should I do... Attack back? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Okay. So for two. Slingers, it's two. Mm -hmm. And that's no hits. No hits. You're trying to roll the symbol on, basically. It will always be a hit. And your heavier units hit on a sword. If you have a leader with you, it hits on a leader symbol. So on and so forth. All right, so these guys are going to throw their pila at the slingers. They moved, so they get one die. That's a miss. Uh, these ones are also going to do that. They roll. They get a retreat, which I assume you ignore. Yep. Okay, and that's so, it for my turn. Okay. Uh... And I draw a card. So, wait, do those guys have a... No, they don't have... I was looking at my uh, warriors. I don't think they have a ranged attack. They do not. Yeah, uh, melee units with ranged attacks are something that's um, not unique, but an advantage of the Roman soldiers. So they had their pila javelins that they could throw at the enemies before they closed in with their short swords, their gladiuses. Mm -hmm. Although I'm not sure if the gladius was a thing yet. I think that came a little later. But uh, the, the Gauls in the middle, uh, Hannibal didn't think much of them, so he called them 
basically like pila targets <laughs> for the Romans to waste their pila on. Arrow fodder. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I will order three units left. Okay. On my left. Yep. These guys, they can move two, two. right? Two. Yep. Okay. And those are your slingers. Yeah. Move them up there. Then I'm going to move my heavies up like that. All right. Uh, slingers can fire if they wish. Mm -hmm. They're going to go after... Barrow? Yeah. No. Barrow actually survives the day. In history. <laughs> yeah, historically, maybe. <laughs> That's a miss. miss. All right. Are you done? Yep. Draw a card. All right. I'm going to play outflanked. Which lets me move two on the left and two on the right. Let's go ahead and start on the left. Hmm. So if it's on the line, it still counts as left. It can count as either left or center. Yep. So I would like to get these guys up here to support these guys going up here. But then that breaks my line. So the question is, is it worth it to break my line. Actually, I don't have to break my line. I could do this. Oh, I also want to attack with these guys, though. And knock them out. So many choices! Alright, I think I am going to go ahead and move these guys up one, keeping the line intact. And then I will go ahead and activate the cavalry and attack the slingers. So I'm going to roll three dice. That is one hit. And they can battle back. Now, I could evade on this battle back if I wanted to. The thing about cavalry is they can go back and forth. Um, and they are actually... I, I think they'll be okay. Because they can always evade later if they need to. So that's two misses. Mm -hmm. All right. Off to Carthage. I draw a card. Um, You did... Oh, I get two on the right, don't I? Yeah. Thank you. All right, well, I could bring these guys up and attack these slingers, which seems kind of nice. Or I could just start moving the line up. I don't want to get Vero into too bad of a position because these guys can come and possibly take him out. So I think what I will do is I will move... Let's move this up one. And we'll move these guys in the back up two. Try to get my numbers out there. And I will attack the slingers. One die with this one because they moved, and two with that one because they moved. No, nope. only one <laughs> and one. So that's a hit. And uh, they do have to retreat. How far? Well, they can only retreat one, so they retreat one. Okay. Okay. Off to Carthage. There's my cards. You're not going to Carthage. You're protecting Rome. That's true. Yeah, so Hannibal... Um, so Hannibal's dad, Hasdrubal, was... I thought it, Hasdrubal was his brother. No. Um, yeah, you're right. Hasdrubal is his brother. Darn. What's his dad's name? <laughs> it also starts with an H. You need to Google it on my phone. <laughs> no, uh, I'll get it. <laughs> I'll get it first. No, the pressure. I'll probably get like an A team reference or something. Okay, I got it. Uh, it, uh think darn. it does start with an H. Yeah. Automobile. The guy that does the voice of like Joker car. Uh, so Henry Ford <laughs> and Mark Hamill? No, his name is Hamill, Hamill Car. Hamill Car, that's it. Like Mark Hamill. <laughs> yeah, uh, so Hamill Car, um, so Carthage lost against Rome in the First Punic War, which was largely over Sicily, but Hamill Car never lost a battle against them, so... He didn't want to come back or lose, basically. 
Uh, but he did come back. But he decided to take his army into Spain instead, or um, Iberia at the time. Mm-hmm. And he took over a, a shit ton of Spain. <laughs> he took over all the silver mines. And he got absolutely fabulously wealthy. Fabulously wealthy enough that he could afford his own army to basically go back to Italy. Oh. So, like, imagine today if, like, Bill Gates was rich enough to be able to have an army to invade, you know, Russia or China. And or just something. take it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, the, today's day and age, it's not Bill Gates anymore. It's Jeff Bezos. Sure. Gotta watch out. He'll, kill, he'll come get you. <laughs> Jeff Bezos. But, like, that's the kind of wealth we're talking about that people could acquire in the ancient world that, you know, even today people can be wealthy. But you can't be that wealthy. Mm-hmm. Um, he, he didn't live long enough to see it through, but his sons did. So Hannibal was one of his sons. And Hannibal was in Italy for 15 years fighting these campaigns. Oh, I bet he had fun. <laughs> he n- n- uh, never lost during those 15 years. But but he died. Well, yeah. The last battle was fought on his home turf. Oh. Not that's, in Italy. That's so sad. Okay. I will order three units center. Okay. So these guys have a ranged attack. I'm going to do three units center. Okay. And these guys have a range of two. They do? Okay. Your auxilia? Yeah. And the Yep. I am going to have them break my line. So honestly, who needs lines? Most of these guys can't write. Yeah. Also at this point, um Hannibal had been so successful and killed so many Romans that his army basically looked like a Roman army because they took all the armor and weapons from all the Romans that they had killed <laughs> up to this point. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Okay. Not so much the Gauls, but definitely his African units. We are going to be attacking, I think, this dude with range. So. What well, units are you activating? This one, this one, this one. Okay. So, for since he's holding, he will only attack two dice. That's one hit. Okay. He moved, so he attacks. Uh, so, since you did damage to a unit with a leader in it, you need to roll a leader loss check. Oh, yeah. If you roll two leader symbols, the leader dies. Ah. So close. Dang, that would have been great. He almost died last time, too. I will roll my slinger since he didn't move. Okay. You get two, right? Uh, yep. No nope. hits. Dang it. Bad dice. And, and since two, there's... because they didn't move either, right? Wait, how far? They can move? Hmm? Well, these guys moved already, and you attacked with them, right? No, they had, they had, they moved, but I hadn't attacked yet. Oh, then one dice. Yeah. Okay. A hit. A hit. And roll for leader loss check. Oh! oh! Yes! Palace is dead! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So, killing a chase, leader. I had to chase that guy around last game so long. So, killing a leader grants a victory point to the other side. <laughs> You need seven victory points to win. You also get a victory point for completely eliminating a unit. Well, that really hurts my left flank. <laughs> sorry. Uh, no, I'm not sorry. But it's still pretty great. Hmm. Good auxilia. Oh, boy. Okay. You have so many cards, I can't trust that you don't have like one particular flank or another because i would like to push the right side but i have to assume that you're able to activate those whenever you wish yeah it's hard isn't it so although i can at the very least i believe run my blue my uh, medium infantry away 
Okay, we're going to try that then. Um, I'm going to play Mounted Charge, which allows me to order up to four mounted units. I only have two. Yep. Move with them, but they get to roll one additional die in combat. So this guy is just going to stay there and is going to try and finish off. Uh, it seems like a bit of a waste. No, it's fine. <laughs> But if I go here, these guys can evade because they're a lighter cavalry. So I'm not quite as likely to do anything to them. I could hit them, but I'm not going to kill them. So they're gonna, they could hit back and they can hit back hard. And the same with these guys. So I think that I will just go ahead and do this to here to be sure to finish them off. And then for these, I'm going to move them one, two, three, and try to get these slingers as well. So I'm going to start with the slingers. So that's going to be four dice because I get plus one because of the mounted charge that I have played. So that is going to be two two hits plus a retreat, which they ignore. can ignore. So I did two. Mm -hmm. And then over here, again, I get to roll four. You lost the die. Oh, and I missed with four dice. Yep. The Grand Survivor. Time to bounce back. Yep, so I am going to evade. Okay. On those dudes. Yep. So uh, she still gets to roll, but because I'm evading, only uh, blue triangles are going to count. Any other die result is ignored. No. Um, general. Uh, it doesn't count because I'm evading. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nope. All right. And evade goes back to... And I will attack with those guys, obviously. Okay. Blue! Oh, so that was a hit. Those slingers. It's like the Terminator. <laughs> you can't get them! <laughs> All right, I forgot to... I need to draw a card. Now it's your turn. I was actually kind of hoping you could take those guys out for me. They're in the way. I know, right? Okay. It's a problem that... He's got so many troops. I feel like a lot of ancient war games have is your um, light troops and your missile units just kind of get in the way more than anything else. I know. Because, like, <laughs> w one of the primary pur purposes is to screen your lines. So, like, they will see all these skirmishers and they won't be able to see what the army is doing behind them. Mm -hmm. But in a view like this, like, that isn't represented, you know? Yeah, they just... They're, they're more of a pain. It's like, why do I have all of these ranged units in front of my heavies? Like, please. Which they would have been deployed that way. But, um, you know, it's possible that they would have been able to slip through the lines, maybe. I mean, th uh, there are some cards that will allow you to do that. Mm-hmm. Okay, how, far, how, how fast can my lights go? Oh, four. four. Jeez. They can really book. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so the light cavalry is cool because not only is it fast, but they also have ranged attacks as well. They can throw javelins. They're just not super deadly. But they can cut off retreats. Okay. I think I'm going to order three units right. Okay. So that's her right. And I counted them out, but basically two, three, four. Yep. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right. You were charging the wounded medium horses. Yep. I'm going to attack right. with those so guys. So because you're faster than I am, basically, I cannot evade. Yep. And that is... <laughs> but you can evade when I attack back. Two dice? Two dice. Uh, I'll attack with the commander squadron first, okay? Okay. Um, they all get the command bonus. Oh, Okay. As long as they're in melee. That's one hit. No, that's misses. Okay. Because they're light units. They mm -hmm. don't hit on swords. Pretty sure. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. No sword hits. And then those guys. One. Yep. Plus and a flaggy. Which they must take. And I believe. 
They retreat. Yeah, their retreat is three. So he dies. Yep, so they cannot... Um, he doesn't have enough spaces to go back, so he basically flees the battlefield. And is out and counts as a point. Thank you! Awesome. And you still can activate the rest of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you've only done these ones so far. Oh. Right? No, I, I use these guys. Oh, okay. The first one's missed. I hit him with these guys, and then these, um, I haven't used those yet. Okay. Attacking this one or this one? Hmm. Doesn't really matter. Maybe I'll do those guys. Okay. Well, no, I'll do this guys. They're farther away from the heavies. Yep, and they also don't have any uh, resistance to fleeing. Because they're on the end of the line. Yep. Speaking of... All right. They gotta run away. Uh, actually, they'll go that way. <laughs> Trying to get close to their friends. Excuse me. So, um, because they knocked them out of that hex, if you wish, they can advance. Um, but they can't advance and attack. Uh, they can. They can. Yeah, because they're cavalry. I think all cavalry can. Yeah. So. They can advance, they can then move one way in a way they want. So they could move back to here, if you wanted them to, and then they can attack again. Okay. Yeah. We'll imagine that. Okay. That's no hits. Yep. Thank goodness. <laughs> Just chain my way down your line. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. All right, well. I would... I very much like to start doing something there, but please. I don't think I, I have no cards to do so. So instead, I'm going to use leadership in any section, which is a leader's hex and then three adjacent linked hexes. So I'm going to do the leader. I'm going to do the leader and then one two and well, let's move them first uh. so let's go here here and then go ahead and move up two and then the question is do I have him support these guys, actually, yeah. Or do I have him attack that guy? Because if they evade, they'll be able to get back there. <laughs> <laughs> You're just assuming that he'll have to evade because he won't be able to kill that one slinger. <laughs> I love your short shorty. Well, your generals are great. I know. It's a rough situation. All right, I'll move him here. Okay, so I'm going to attack the slinger. Okay. I moved, so one die. Come on, green! Yes! Yeah. So I get a victory point, finally. There you go. Thank you. And then this guy to this guy. Actually, we'll do it to the leader. So I assume he ignores. Mm-hmm. This one. Ignore. Misses. Miss. And that's it. Okay. I need to get this leader into play as quickly as I can. <laughs> Here are my cards now. Okay. I am probably going to order two units right. Okay. I'm going to pop him up there. All right. 
and then so these are warrior you can think of them up like barbarian units um if they just charge in and go fight stuff they're pretty good but once they start losing dudes uh, they start losing cohesion and become much worse so since i only move once i can use four dice uh you can use four dice because they are full strength oh, okay yep uh, who are you attacking these yeah those guys okay my medium infantry oh Two hits destroyed so dead give All me right. a block you get a point and they can also move forward if they wish and i believe yes they may battle hmm. so that they can advance and fight again if you want hmm. we could pretty much just decimate your entire um left flank left flank mm -hmm. do they have to move forward or can they just fight again they have to move forward if they want to fight oh. basically they're pressing the advantage we'll press all right who are you attacking the velites or the uh, sort of auxilia i'll get the auxilia okay imagine four dice again if i got all four greens. <laughs> <laughs> well, swords hit too. Uh, yeah. So. I got one. One and a flea that I cannot disregard. So. Uh, Put him right in. Yeah. There. Okay. So. Now I think you're done, right? Can I press again? No. I don't think so. What's the difference? I'll check. Uh, well, actually, you might be able to press again, but I think you can't battle again. I'm not sure. Let me look. Okay. So after a successful attack, after a mo momentum advance, you can advance again, but you cannot attack again. You can only attack once per turn that way. So I will go into the vacated hex. Okay. Is your turn complete? Have you done enough damage to the poor Romans? <laughs> well, I was only able to activate two units, so... You haven't even had to envelop them. You're just taking them on by man power. I'm trying to envelop. The, I've got your right side. Yeah. I mean, left side destroyed. The, the actual makeup of the army is, is pretty accurate, but I don't think it quite represents the numbers because um, the Romans should have like two to one as far as like the infantry goes, which they have, I think I counted it, it was like eight to 12 infantry units, which is almost the same to be fair. It's almost what it was. Okay, let's see. Um, hmm. <laughs> All right, I'm going to play order three center units. And I'm going to push up. I'm going to go this way for one. Go here for two. And then. Hmm. I kind of just need to get the Velites out of the way. So I think I will move them over to here. I will start here to here, rolling one die because they move. That's a miss. And then here to here is four dice. That is One, three hits. Two, three. Yep. Because the leader counts as a hit, the swords count as a hit, and the circle counts as a hit. Uh, they can battle back. Mm hmm. With Which three is dice. Three. Yep. I need some dice. You no, they're all mine. You can't kill side. me if I don't give you any dice. That is one and a flag. All right. Um, well, I cannot ignore the flag because they only have one unit adjacent to them. So I will retreat in the only space available to me. There's uh, one little dude. You're too scared. <laughs> <laughs> so they could advance, um, but they can't attack. But they didn't. They, they, can... they made them retreat. Oh, okay. But I assume you don't want to do that. Yeah. Uh, it looks kind of scary. 
Um, and I already rolled these guys, right? And it was a miss. You didn't activate those guys. You activated these guys over here. No, I activated these guys, which rolled and missed. And yeah. Then those... And you move these guys up, but they can't do anything. Yep. Okay. All right. Then I am done. <laughs> well, thank goodness it's on that side. Because there, if it was on this side. Oh. 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 <laughs> Mount a charge. All right. This is what I played earlier. Yeah, so but it's going to be a lot more useful in my hands. Yep. So she can move all of her mounted units, and they get an additional die in close combat. I think it's just close combat. Yeah, it is. Also, heavy uh, units can move three and still battle. Ah. That's real bad. Okay. My heavies can... How Move far? three because of the charge. Ah. Normally it's only two. Okay. So I don't really need them to move that many. How about if I have them move here and these guys move here? That works. Okay. All right. Where do you want to start the battle? This side? Uh, we'll start right there. Which one first? This one? Yeah. All right. I need... They roll two. I need more dice, babe. You stole them again. Okay, two. Uh, well, uh, plus one. Oh, because oh, yeah, of... because mounted. Yep. So three. Nice. Yep. Three. That's no hits. Okay. Here, here. Mm-hmm. Trying to get in behind me. So if they can get in behind me, then I can no longer retreat, and any retreats will count as hits and kills, basically. Ooh, nice. Uh, only one hit. Because they're light units, swords do not count as hits. Mm-hmm. I'm there. Okay, you could also do these. Would it count? Well, it would oh, hurt the meter. Also, I get to battle back. So. Okay. Well, let's do the battle back. I'll battle back here. Do you want to evade? Yes. Okay. So I get to roll three. Ah. So I did one hit. Mm hmm And they move back two spaces because you're evading. Then I'll battle back with them. Is that where you want to be? Um... With them? I roll and kill your general. You can't kill my general. You'll, we'll see. It would be hilarious. Um, well, I believe that's a hit. No, it's not. I think it is. Nope. It's a light <laughs> troop. You don't attack. No, it's Exilia. And yes, it, it is. Let's see? Where it doesn't say no sword hits. For them. So that's one hit, and then I roll for leader loss. My auxilia has been getting the rough end of the stick. Not the short end, the rough end. Nope, he's safe. All right, he's so he can evade. Oh, if he was evading, the sword hit didn't hit anyway. So go ahead and put him back. Oh, why'd you take them all off for? Because I had to go get the dude. <laughs> it would have been so much easier to pick up the one and put him in. <laughs> because I need to make sure the general's on top of a firm tower of people. I see. Uh... So he evades too. Okay. And now it's these guys' turn. Okay. Who are they attacking? The Velotes or the Exilia? They can't retreat now, right? They can Oh, okay. I thought because he was behind. No. Like from uh, what you just said. Well, I mean, they have an opening. Like, if this guy had been here, then they wouldn't be able to. Okay. So, can I evade one? You have to move two, if you have can. have to move two? Yep. Now, these guys could end up there, right? Because they were here. But then... Okay. But I can't get my general... So 
next to that other guy. If it had gone like this, then you could have not evaded then. Yeah. So, yeah. Like that. No, if he's evading, oh, he's gonna yeah. Okay, back. okay. Then move him. Again. <sighs> My poor army, dealing with all your shit. All right. So who's who are they attacking? Those guys. Oh, they can probably just be wiped out by those dudes. Oh, they'll attack these guys. Okay. Uh, they're well, not they'll be... attack these guys. Okay. They're not going to be able to evade. Because they're hemmed in. Um, they do three dice? Yeah. Uh, three because he plays Mountain Change. So they got a flag. Okay. No, wrong ones. Those ones. That's right. So one, two. Okay. I think because they retreated, I don't think they get to battle back. Yeah. And I can move up with them? Uh, well, no. You, you can only move if I was attacking. But I guess since they are... I was attacking, and you retreated, so I can move in. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. The uh, line is formed! Now this side? Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> and not enough death has happened. Okay, I will attack that dude. All right, four dice. Because of the charge. Uh, a flag and, and a sword. So I must take the sword. I must take the flag. Like that. Okay. Do you wish to move into their vacated space? Like this. Mm -hmm. Now that you can move again if you want, and then they can attack. And these guys can attack? Mm -hmm. But they don't have to move. But they could still attack. Okay. Can I attack those dudes? Mm -hmm. I'll do that. Okay. Uh, two. Two. <sighs> now they get to battle back. Battle back. Just try it. Are you evading? Um, no. No? You don't want to evade? No, I'm expecting just to kill them. Okay. No hits. Who all was you fighting against? You rolled twice. Because you didn't answer if you wanted to evade before I rolled. Oh, okay. So. I was like, why do I need to vote? You didn't hit? No, anybody. I will attack that dude with, um... Has Drupal? Has Drupal. I love that name. It's got <laughs> Drupal in it. Okay. Not quite as good as his brother. He did lose at least once. Four, five. On his own. I believe his other brother, Mego, is somewhere in here, too. Not represented. Oh, dang. Are they, like, dead? Because of the, the, the three retreats? Yeah. So. All right. So they get to ignore one because they have two next to them. Um... They have to take the others, so they have to go one, two, and then they have to go one, two, so they lose one. Okay. But they're tired from all the running. And your army's starting to look a and little squished. Again, you can advance and attack, or advance, advance, and attack. Oh, dang. All that stuff's looking pretty sexy right now. Yep, we're starting to get enveloped. It's kind of looking historical except you did the charging and i just stayed there yeah i was waiting for you guys like look look there's a nice little <laughs> break you can walk through there go to the next town or whatever who are you attacking i will i will go after your general okay so i can't evade could because i am lighter but if i do then i feel like the line is lost so i will not evade <laughs> <laughs> the line is lost you're rolling five dice? Yeah. Because I'm a badass and hands have the ruble. Nice. 
So that two is... hits and a retreat, which I will ignore. Roll for leader loss. This could be epic, but it won't be. No. Nope. Thank goodness. Oh, that would be freaking hilarious. <laughs> no, it would be sad. It would be amazing. All right, let's roll for battle back. You can't evade. Ooh, three hits. Nice. That's all of them. Now I roll for leader loss, and because I eliminated the unit, I only have to roll one. One in six chance of killing Hasdrubal. Yeah. Yes! <gasps> nice! So he's dead. That's Thank you. two victory points. Here. Because I eliminated the unit and the leader. There you go. So we're tied. Three and three, although the How battlefield... How come you gave him back to me? Here, take it. ...does not represent as such. Uh, and I could push forward and attack. Would you like to? I feel... A little vulnerable, but we got to push this advantage while we have it. Oh, but that'll break the line. <laughs> the line. What is no, this line I... you speak of? It's starting to just look like a half moon shape. Uh, I can't. Uh, I'm going to keep it. Okay. I'm going to stay where I am. All right. Is it finally my turn? Yep. I draw a card. Oh, yeah. And let me look. Where are my options? Nice. Oh, everything is scary. Everything is cool when you're killing the Romans. <laughs> All right, we need to we need to get this right under control. I feel like. So let's do so. Let's do inspired right leadership which is going to be Vero and four adjacent units so one two three and four is it connected units or adjacent um the leader's heck and four adjacent linked hexes okay so, linked yeah as long as they're linked they're fine so i couldn't like skip this guy and get this guy mm -hmm. all right um well that's gonna happen first And then this will happen. And this will happen. So that is one, two. So now I have two more. So three. And four. And we'll just stay in fire. Okay, let's start. Uh, because if I attack him with these, you can evade. And then I will lose this attack. So I am going to try... I'm going to try and do this. It's risky. Three dice. We're going to hope. That's one hit. No. With the swords. Oh, okay. Yeah, you are a medium. Yeah. Battle back. If I kill you. <laughs> it would be amazing. Go ahead and battle back. Three dice. I have to. Yeah. Yes. All right. So that's a death. So that's a point. And then leader loss. Just Limbo. one die, right? Yeah. Live. <laughs> oh, yes! What were you saying about that right that needed strengthening? Destroyed. Oh, oh, your line. It's broke. <laughs> Not good. I only got to destroy two sets now. Well, this is a massacre. You going to start attacking with those guys so I can battle back? Yes. Okay. Yes, I am. So here to here, do you evade? If you evade, you can't battle back. Mm, it's so tempting. Uh... How far do those guys shoot? Actually, you know what? Let's let's do this. Okay. I'll attack from here to here ranged. That's smarter. So they moved. So they only get one. Mm-hmm. Which is a miss. Now I'll attack here to here. So do you evade? Um Yeah. Yeah, I think so. What's their range? Um, two. So you'll get out of range. So that's two hits. So they are eliminated. No. 
That's beat. one. Yep, one hit because they're evading. Yeah. Not to mention, did those guys move? Uh, they're doing melee, so it doesn't matter. Oh, okay. So he moves back too. Mm-hmm. Out of range of that guy, so my turn is complete. You need two more points, and then you win. I need four more points, and then I win. I believe this is a good card. It's not terrible. So I got these. And I got these. And I got this. So, I, I love war games. They're my favorite type of games to play. Um, they're a little more involved usually than most games, but they're trying to simulate something. And um, I think this system does a, a pretty good job of simulating it. Um, because of that, like not all war games are balanced, especially in all scenarios. So like, you know, if you're making a war game and you're making Kanai, like do you make it balanced so either side can win? Or because it was such a massacre, do you make it so like it's 80 or 90 percent likely that Carthage is going to win? So the, there's a list, I forget what website, but like people will rank which side won. So you can find like the balance scenarios if you're looking for that kind of game. Mm -hmm. Or if you're looking for something that covers the history, I think it works uh, super well in its terms of its low complexity and playtime. Like, it, it's not as good as, like, the Great Battles of History or something like that, but those take m many more hours and have many more hundreds of pages of rules. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think you could get me to play one of those. <laughs> this is just not my style. Okay. Double time. All right. Order four or fewer foot units in a group. And I may move two hexes and still engage in close combat. Yep. Abuya, <laughs> and the warriors can move three, but I don't need them to. Okay. Okay. So first off, I'm going to try to take out this little dude right here. I think. With the heavies. <laughs> Why not? All right, they roll five dice. I need some more dice, babe. You keep stealing them. Look at all those dice over there. There you go. These guys are attacking these guys. That is one hit, which is all you need. Mm-hmm. And you need one more point, and then you are victorious. Thank you. Can I move up and attack again? They can move up. They cannot attack again because they're infantry. They could only do that if they had a leader attached to them. Oh, okay. Which they do not. These guys can. They're, they're the only infantry that can, unless they have a leader, and then any type can. Okay. I'll use my leader set right there. Okay. To attack these. Those dudes, yeah. Yep. The three. Five oh. dice again. I don't think you get any extra dice. No, I don't. It's yeah, it, it usually has a big plus one in the upper left-hand corner if mm -hmm. you get more dice. Oh, my gosh. They're dead. Yep. You win. Boom. Boom. Thank you. Nicely done. History is correct. Hannibal did the killing blow, that's and why you I, killed his brother. I did. Uh, that's why I always play the losing side. In, so that it's okay battles. when you lose. <laughs> so either I win, and that's great anyway. But if I lose, history is correct, and I'm still happy. You're a jerk. <laughs> You're a jerk. You just blame it on your dead generals. Look uh, at all of them. That was an exciting game, though. Really good stuff. Uh, so th there are 15 scenarios in this game. Uh, this is one of the simpler ones. There's no terrain. There's a whole bunch of like terrain rivers and, and forests and rules. hills and everything. Uh, they're not too bad. Uh, <laughs> there are elephants, uh, different scenarios with elephants, uh, different units that we're not playing with. Um, can you make your own scenarios? Yeah, ab absolutely. You can. Mm. And there are tons and tons of expansions for this. And this series, so th <laughs> uh, this is the Ancients. Um, it, and uh, there are different expansions that will do, like, Greece. So you can have um, Alexander the Great for, for this particular system. You can have it to where you're playing in, like, Imperium Rome or 
like when they're invading England and stuff like that. Uh, but there are also completely other games that use this similar sort of system, such as Medieval. Uh, there's also a Civil War version called Battle Cry. There's a Napoleon version, which the, they all have sort of the same core rules, but they have different flavors to them to reflect the time period. This is the favorite of the ones I've played. Uh, Memoir 44 covers World War II. I don't think that one's quite as good of a simulation, but it's a pretty fun game. But yeah, this is one of my favorite games and favorite types of games. Hopefully this shows why I like war games so much, because not only can they be fun and exciting games, but you can also picture the history and learn about why the generals did the things that they did. And it doesn't really take that much time. I mean, I just counted the cards and we had this sussed out in seven turns. Yeah. So. Yeah, this is one of the shorter ones, definitely. Like, well, one of my favorite things to do is have one of the longer war games set up and have a book about the battle next to me so I can be reading about the battle and then be taking turns sort of in between so I can see how everything could play out. But then you're also a very special man. <laughs> I am. It's good stuff. So, yeah, thanks for playing. Uh, mm -hmm. Hannibal and Carthage is victorious over the Romans this time, but we get you in the long game because no one's no apparently one better at, at having children than the Romans. Because despite losing hundreds of thousands of men to Carthage, they managed to just keep making more armies. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if Carthage had actually sent some more men to support Hannibal. Uh, men, but also like siege equipment, because they could never take Rome, was their biggest problem. Uh -huh. So they just wandered around Italy for 15 years, just beating the Romans in every field battle that they had. <laughs> um, but never having either the number of troops or the correct equipment to sack Rome itself. And Rome just was stubborn. Like any other country in the history of the ancient world would have surrendered. But Rome... It's like, we can just keep making babies. <laughs> We're Italian. <laughs> Rome did not. And, yeah, eventually they took Hannibal's ploy against themselves. and uh, They took, used it against him. Yeah, took the fight to them and managed to win. Yeah. So, good stuff. Thanks. This is the Game Night Home Edition. Because <laughs> we're still under the stay-at-home order. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching this edition of Game Night. If you want to see the next one sooner, you can go over to patreon.com slash blindwave and check it out. Also, be sure to check out, um, play these kind of games with other people over the internet if you're stuck at home with things like Tabletop Simulator or Vassal, V-A-S-S-A-L, which is a free engine that you can play this game with other people. Just make sure you own a copy of the game. No pirating. <laughs> Support the games. <laughs>